No. No! <laughs> you will find a way I make it short. You found a keep him in suspense with your stories. Alright then. Let's make it short. Mm. So the princess did the unexpected. She accepted to marry the poor orphan named among her suitors. Oh. You didn't tell me one of the princess's suitors was an orphan. I just told you. Everybody was shocked when Princess Adama accepted to marry Nam de the poor orphan. You, you, you! <laughs> What's wrong with you? Hey, what? Wait a minute. What? That's not nice. <laughs> You've been stringing me along with a story and I didn't even figure it out. Oh my God. So you didn't you hear when I said that the princess in my story was a frog? Yeah. Are you a frog? Mm, uh, a frog. Are you a frog? A frog. Mm -hmm. You were such a cool <laughs> And you are such a wonderful listener. What's going on here? What does it look like? I can't, certainly. I, I, I can't really say, but whatever it is, I certainly, it's not appealing to me. Please, let it stop. I am the princess of Asak Kingdom. You do not, I repeat, do not stop. You seem to have forgotten where you come from, you ingrate. Look, your father, a most noble king, willingly consented to this union and blessed her. If for anything, that great man never made one mistake in his life. Exactly why I worry. Why would he make one mistake in his long life? You. And what are you waiting for? Will you go up there and bring the rest? I think you're getting this all wrong. Stop deceiving yourself. I just need time. Time to prove my enough for you. No, you have run out of it. The party is over. It has not come to the point that you will leave the house. <laughs> no, 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 my darling. Look around you. I'm not the one leaving. You are. What? Mm -hmm. In case you forgot, this house belongs to me. It's my house. It is not a house. Gods! Gods! It takes more. Much more than mere accusations to dampen the spirit of the brave. 
And it takes but an act as little as faithfulness to make a coward a king. Leave here this moment. Or would you rather we do you the honors of the whole community singing you home? What is it? My princess, the king beckons. Is everything all right? I'm afraid not, my princess, but the king wants you and your husband to come immediately. I'm coming with you, he's not. Is everything all right? Sorry, sorry, Your Majesty. Sorry. I'm going to. I'll be leaving my great Asa kingdom with looking with the uh, My Lord, even in pains, the sense of humor is still supreme. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Even in widows from that. The echo of the patcher is clearly distinct in your vibes. Why scare the daylights out of these women you dearly love? Um, my princess, the departure of an honored one is incomplete if adequate preparations are not made towards the departure. But it's not yet time for your departure, my king. Ah, uh, 
Namdi, my son who treats loyalty with kindness and valor. Even to suggest that he was born with it. Every journey has an end. <laughs> I have journeyed most fruitful. I am only a handshake away from my ancestors. Father. Oh, princess, my princess. I wish I could subdue nature so that we grow old together. But the Creator, the Supreme God, did not reveal to the gods the secrets of holding the hands of time. The Father, the SMO can, can surely. Something. <laughs> I'm sorry, Father. Sorry. It's okay. Sorry. It's okay. Sorry. It's okay. Sorry. It's okay. Mm. It's okay. No. It's okay. No. Uh, that more my dear. Yes. As the more of a second, as powerful and significantly clairvoyant as the gods entrusted them with, cannot reverse the supreme wish when the big gong sounds in the spirit world. Uh, but my king, please, we still need you around for your wise counsel, please. It's not time for your departure, please. Don't beg me, it's not in my hands. This journey has been smooth so far, but the departure, the departure must certainly usher in a tumultuous, torturous rank. Father, again you speak in riddles. The gods in their wisdom have not ironed out my succession with a smooth machine. Without a male child and no grandchild in sight. Our tradition is merciless. There is no need for you to follow me. I can see him alone. Chief, what if things don't work out as planned? <laughs> it's only a fool who can embark on an ambitious project like this without plan B. <laughs> okay, very well, I'll see you later. Huh? All is well. Eh? <laughs> for an emergency. The journey has just begun. Do you mean the king's journey? Exactly. In seven days' time, it will be all over. Ufegushi, Ufegushi, 
But we won't be ready in seven days' time. That is why I'm here. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, meanwhile, the chicken pepper soup is ready. Shall we go on then? fight for his people. As long as you believe him and put your trust in him, he will always make your battles his own. Kingdom, I am entitled to at least seven wives. But I vowed to my queen that I wasn't marrying a mother when I brought her in. She is what more than seven women. I never knew the gods were determined to force me to break my vow. No king enjoys living without a successor in sight. But a king that cannot keep a vow is not worthy of his kingdom. Your Majesty. My queen. Ah. Why, why, why save the tears that will be used to wash my toe? Yeah. Nandi. Your Majesty. I want the two of you to listen to me attentively. I know you are going through a rough patch right now. It's been seven years. 
and no sign of a child. Father, I have already made the decision. We are... You are the daughter of your father. Action. Yes. Action. Uh, but my daughter, beware. To be trusted is a greater compliment than to be loved. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Do not mix the two up. There is a war coming. War? Your Majesty, as a warrior, I will not shy away from defending your name in any war that comes. There is a war coming. And both of you do not stand a chance without each other. Whatever happens after the war will be your true test of character. I only tell you to cry out for insight and understanding. Seek them as you would seek lost money or hidden treasure. Um, Father. We are a people with culture and tradition. I have tried to abolish the negative ones and uphold the good ones. And I give the almighty God the glory. I need a successor who will carry on in the same state. As for the war I talked about, we'll have to pray to God and he will take the battle as his own. Your Majesty, I shall fight the war. And they shall be as mighty men, which tread down their enemies in the mire of the street in the battle. And they shall fight because the Lord is with them. And the riders on horses shall be confounded. Believe on these words, my son. And hold on to this book. It was given to me recently by my good Ella. Your 
majesty. A loyal servant hardly tells an unfaithful husband. <sighs> um, you still need some rest, your majesty. But just come down. But man. Man. <sighs> they all dance to the tune of power. Greed and self-satisfaction. Just the way a chameleon dances with colors. But, Your Majesty... I will not try to bind you by any powers. I will only ask you to live your dream. My dream? Your Majesty. Mm -hmm. Fourteen years ago, you told me about the dream where you have found two big wooden gongs in the forest. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, Your Majesty. Yes. I want you to cast your mind back to that dream. I want you to remember every detail of it. Yes. Your Majesty, I can remember every detail of those dreams. In fact, I had that dream seven good times. Yes. The choice is yours and Just if you but there, being brave is not enough. Wisdom comes from above. Wisdom, I saw, is the only weapon which you will use against the adequately armed Opposition. What opposition, Your Majesty? Hmm. Namdi, my daughter is only but a woman, and the passions of a woman are usually laced with arrows that are spiced with deadly poison. Your Majesty, with profound respect, all your words pass me by. I can't piece them together. Wisdom, my loyal servant. Loyalty has its prize and reward. But in the end, the reward more than evens out the price. Your Majesty, the Lion, the good Lion of Osaka. My brother Magnus. You're, you're welcome, Chief Magnus. Mm -hmm. um, Your Majesty, I should uh, be taking my leave now. Don't, don't tell me our ancestors are beckoning. It's not in my heart. But whoever refuses a noble call, I have done my bit. Time to pass the battle. But there's no... Magnus, 
you have been my greatest, closest confidant. Do not let them subdue my family. Always be there to direct them when the wolves come knocking on the door. Your Majesty, do you still wish that Namdi, your servant, succeeds you? Remember, he is married to the princess, the only princess of Asa. So long as he stays married to my daughter, he should be crowned. They will have sons. Don't tell me again. You are not going yet. You are not going yet. You are not going yet. Who else but my closest confidant will shoot the first arrow? As our tradition demands, as representatives of each village in Asa Kingdom, and according to tradition of Asa, I am informing you of our king's journey to our ancestors. the lion has finally left the forest. Asa! Asa Wan. Um, I do not have to repeat what is expected of you in this circumstance. According to Asa Kingdom. Mm -hmm. <coughs>
men of Asa kingdom, the die is cast. Our king has started the journey to the great beyond. He has gone to communion with the ancestral spirit. Seven days, he will neither talk or recognize anybody. In fact, his eyes must remain shut. He will neither stand. On the seventh day, he's supposed to give up the ghost. In those seven days, we are supposed to prepare the next king for a session to the two. But it appears there's no king to prepare. But there is a king in waiting, of course. Oputa. Uh huh. Is there something you know that we don't? Oputa, we are all ears. Is there no longer lay down procedure and tradition in our sad community? Oputa, you are beating about the bush. Is Chief Magnus Okina Mini not next in line of Assad community society? Nebe. Not that we know of. We are yet to know that, Oputa. Even when you don't believe my innocence, my princess, the king, your father, a most noble man, spoke to me. I was the last person he spoke to before passing into transitional oblivion. He told me things from a noble man to a loyal servant and a son in law. Talk to me. Adama, Mama, does loyalty have an infidelity? My princess, on what physical bliss would a man be holding you indulge in any act of unfaithfulness? And when a man lies and cheats, how on earth does he think that he can stay married to the princess of Asa kingdom? The journey ahead is not only far, but dangerously tortuous. <laughs> Let me stay back and lend a hand. No way. I don't need you around me. He stays. He must stay, not in this house. You will stay in one of the rooms at the boys' quarters. I don't have a problem with that. Thank you for the opportunity, my queen. Adam, has it ever crossed your mind that this man that you're trusting around might be so innocent? Yes, of course.
What is this? Take a look at the you, sir. Carrying all this on alone. Now you see for yourself. Do you see? Mm, I understand. Ada, if we will survive. We still need Namdi by our side. I promise you, Sue, we will handle this letter, okay? It's a promise. We will lose everything we worked so hard all these years. Ada, we have a lot to lose. I have never doubted your father's wisdom. And I don't think we should start now. Okay? I am hurt. I intend to... Think about what I've just told you. Barely six weeks old when your mother brought you to our king. Moja, it amazes me how accurate you are with records. Why people like you make use of their eyes, I see with my mind. Take it from me. The, the mind sees further than the eyes. I agree. I guess you're right. That same night that your mother brought you to our king, she died. But because one whose chi is not in support of his death, does not die a careless death, you were raised up in the palace. That's what I heard. Our king, His Royal Highness, Anamadike Okunamili, Ezoba Tureni II of Asar Kingdom, saw your strength among other qualities and drafted you into a threatening of royal staff, royal guards. 
wonder. You shall have a way with words. That you distinguished yourself among hundred others is so glaring that the king gave his only daughter to you in marriage. You have every reason to be happy and thankful to your God, my good friend. To God be the glory. I am not afraid of you, but even if, isn't it because the brother in question have boss evil thoughts in his mind at any point in time? If I wasn't certain, I would have concluded that our father had nothing to do with you coming into this world. Nothing to do with it. You may be convinced, but I am not and will never be that both of us came from the same father. Never. <laughs> Even if you don't want to kill me, I can take it and drink because two of us are brothers would they like it or not. Mm. This is strong drink. Mwayakalaka mm? kaja. Oh, look at what you will do now. I enjoy it. Eh? Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Um. Oh, yes. The days are here. What days? <laughs> Two days. And the king of Asa kingdom will cease to be. Two days. Great pity that such a great man will just pass on so soon. Um, men, however great, will die for others to grow. If a great man does not die, then another will not come forth. And that's anomalous. You have a point there, my brother. But the question remains, who around us will fit into the big shoes left behind by our king. That's the question. He left no heir behind. Hmm? Most painfully too. But let me tell you, no kingdom falls up just because its stupid king failed to leave an heir behind. No. No. How do you mean stupid? He should have married seven wives. But he stuck to one woman, one wife, even when her womb was sealed by the gods. Hmm? Seven wives, at least. Her womb sealed by the gods? Yes! The same gods followed the only princess to a man she shouldn't have married in the first place. Hmm? Magnus, why are you here? Why are you here, Magnus? Ah. <laughs> Very simple. The kingship of our sack kingdom has come home. Home. Come home? Home to our family. Our own family. Okay. Let me tell you. I have been patient for years. But in two days, I'll wait no more. <laughs> I'll wait no more. <laughs> I'll wait no more. <laughs> My brother, if I may ask, are you not aware that the princess and the husband are still around? Are you 
Have you forgotten? Are you reasoning like a normal human being? Yes. Huh? I am here to get your support and you're telling me about the princess and her husband. Huh? Wait, so my, my support for what? Your support for me to get crowned as the king of Asa kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> are, are, you, are you getting mad? Eh? Hey! It's better you're mad than you being the king of Asa. Oh, we see a lot of people. Adam, you are the only one I have in this whole world. feeling terribly bad that your husband is treating you so wickedly. And all the trust we place on his shoulders. But I promised your father that I will not sit and watch all that he worked for go down the drain. That's my promise to your father. And the only way to do that is by not allowing the crown to leave this family. We can't do that without an empty mother. We have Uncle Magnus. We don't need an empty. How wrong you are, my dear. Your father repeatedly told me never to trust your Uncle Magnus. He said he is a wolf in the house. Magnus becomes the king. Ada, we are finished. That is why we have to stick with Namdi. See, we have to stick with him until we get the crown. But I promise you that after that, we will deal with him. That's a promise. When an elder eats without asking questions, he dies without knowing what killed him. Is my brother Magnus right to go for the kingship of Asa? That is, if by tomorrow our king passes on. But when the cat is away, the mice dance at the lobo in its residence. Uncle, I don't understand. I'm at a loss. Of course, your brother has every right to take it, only if you let him. Only if I let him? Uh, yes, of course. You are in your mid-fifties. Why is None of your mates all over the world can be reg regarded as a youth. Am I well, uncle? Good. Your brother Magnus came to Asa in the embryo with your mother. Yes, I know. No. Your father insisted and went ahead to install Magnus as his first son in that ceremony you witnessed. Yes, I recall. That was for your father, DK. Here, in Asa Kingdom, the tradition is clear. No one born under such circumstances in Asa here can ever be made king. possibly stay away when a man that I've loved more than any other transits to life after. Namdi, sit down. Thank you, my queen. Thank you very much. Do you wish to see him? Yes, very much. Adama, 
Take him to your father. Never knew anything like this would happen. Never witnessed such in my life either. And I ask, why? Tradition, my dear. Tradition that will make one go through hell unnecessarily. What are you talking about? The tradition our kingdom. Be that as it may, I will not let the ultimate honor of our kingdom depart from your lineage as long as I live. has befallen the land of Asa. Men of Asa, mm? the ancestral wind has caught up with our beloved king. We may be saddled with burial plans. I believe we are all equal to the task. Mm -hmm. The big headache we are burdened with is that of a successor. Mm -hmm. We are all aware that the king will not be buried until a new king is crowned. And the late king left us with no heir to crown. Eidans of Asylum, I greet you all. Thank you. I greet you too. There is no problem so difficult that there is no solution to it. That cow 
that has no tail is God. Jesus flies of it. The king may not have left a son behind, but we all know we have a, uh, this. Uh, ma, uh, the gods of Asa have clearly declared that the leadership will locate. Well, sit down! Why shoved him down? In view of our present situation, we need to hear from you. Thank you. Thank you. Asa Queen! Yeah! 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 Queen! 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 We know too that we have an option. Princess Adama may not have conceived yet, but she has lived with her husband for seven years. That is why we should look for leadership elsewhere. Where else? Uh -uh. Where else do you want us to look for? All right. Ijenga. Eh? Ijenga. Eh? Do you know? There is a man standing and talking. In accordance with our tradition and in respect of the late king's wish, we must invite the princess. If she is ready to do what it takes so that her husband becomes the king, we will comply. We speak for the gods. The consequences of talking out of turn are too grave to be ignored. Our misfortunes not always averted when haste is embraced. Is one not want to squat and dig out the last piece of yam when the tuba is broken, when dug out in haste? Come on, Gilma. Gilma. The princess will have to go through a rigorous ritual and then journey to the evil forest and get the offer. Failing to bring back the offer within seven days, she and her mother would be deemed outcasts and driven out of her side. Oh, uh, I'm a name. Well spoken, is a mom. My king, yeah. how did it go? It's all. It's all. You know what? You have to dress up. Because very soon, you will become the queen of Asa Kingdom. Oh my god, oh my god, my my king, I have five princes and two princesses for you. Mm -hmm. I pray you, please, do not marry another wife, please. <laughs> 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 but is that a worry? Over was it a rock or the
Magnus Magnus. You know, our people say the walls have ears. Yes, you are right. Well, I decided this place because it's lonely. It's good to keep order and to keep secrecy. <laughs> you are very intelligent. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. I have one question to ask. What is it? That, is it true that the princess is making an attempt to hold onto the throne? Hmm. From all indication, she will try. But believe me, the ritual involved is more than intense. Hmm. And after that, the princess will still have to go to the evil forest. It is not a journey for women. Okay, uh, what if she decides to go? <laughs> then she will never return. Huh? Yes. Wufi koneke. That's what I want to hear. Eh? Uh, you see, already there is enough to eat and drink. But I'm assuring you that there will be more to eat and drink once I become king. Uh, you're already the king. <laughs> I'm under the impression that you're already the king. I have no doubt about it. Go for it, we see a lot of Oh, for what? Enjoy yourself. My goodness, my goodness. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Secure them. Uh, Thank uh, you very much. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much, dear. Uh, where is your father? You mean the king? The king? What did you just say? Don't you know that I am the princess? Eh? The princess? <laughs> anyway, come and leave it to the father. No, am I the princess? Yes, my baby, you're a princess, okay? Mom, boy, you're welcome. Thank you, my wife. Uh, where is the... Uh, I mean, where is my brother? Oh, he's inside. Inside? In his OB, yes. In his OB? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Come in. Your Majesty. Where have you been? I went for the cows. I just brought two. Chifonoka said we need seven big cows for the burial. And I have to garner the seven in the next three days. Thank you. It's a duty I owe to my late master. You're welcome. I can see you're already in the mood. What mood? What else are we talking about other than the truth? I can see it and I can feel it everywhere. So you now believe it's our turn? Um, I've given it a secondary thought. And I say to myself, if the kingdom is dying with him, why the hesitation? <laughs> For the first time, my brother cut down things straight. And consequent upon that, I made an inquiry. An inquiry? What inquiry? <laughs> and my finding was, in the first place, that you were not truly totally our father's first son, as the tradition demands of a sad kingdom. And again, that if the kingdom should leave, it's present abode. It should rest squarely on my shoulders. Who told you that's rubbish? Ah. Does the source matter? What really matters is the truth. And you know I must kill. Who told you that? If you must know, we have an upright man in this town. Nza Idika told me that. Idika the fool told you that. Watch your utterances. 
What does that fool know? He knows a lot and you know it. What do you know? What do you know? What I know. What do you know? Enough to know that standing before you is the future king of our sad kingdom. If at all that kingdom should leave his present abode. My king, is everything all right? Get out, please. Get out. I said, get out. Get out. Who feel bushy and then I could nick it? Who feel bushy? The law could nick it. There are not two ways about it. The throne stays here, in this house. Uncle Magnus will never be allowed to achieve his wicked dreams. elegant princess of Asa kingdom. The people of Asa are here in the palace. All the elders of each village of Asa, all the chief priests of Asa kingdom, and Ezemwa himself, we are gathered in honor of a great man, your father. And to protect our tradition and values as a people, we ask you with every symbol of Asa, what is your take with regards to your father's tomb? Thank you, great man of Asa kingdom. A few hours before my late father passed into coma, he asked me to ensure that I do all it takes to have his son-in-law succeed him. I have never disobeyed my father while he was alive. I do not see myself disobeying the wishes of a dying man now. How could you ever think of making Nandi a king? By the virtue of having the princess of Asa as wife. Does the princess know what is really involved in making Nandi king? I know. And I am ready. We have all heard you. If you break your word, you break something that cannot be mended. Your Majesty, what is your own opinion? My daughter is prepared. Then, let's get ready for the seven-day ritual.
Thank you for all your efforts towards giving my late father a befitting burial. He was my father too. You already know my intentions towards you. Why do you want to carry on with this? I do not understand why you have such intentions for me. But then I'm carrying out your father's instructions. The seven day ritual I'm about to undergo, I am told will be like hell. And after that, I will journey into the evil forest alone in search of the awful. My duty as your husband is to stand with you Arthur. And I'll do just that. Nandi, things are a lot different between us now. No matter what happens, always remember that. I'll go to the evil forest instead. You can't. I am the I one. I can. I've asked the SM1, he said I can. As long as you give your consent. Do that many times over. I've always loved you without regrets. I will never stop loving you. Are you not aware that uh, Zedika is dead? Dead? Yes. Was he too old to join his ancestors? Old enough, you see. Mm -hmm. But was strong enough only two days ago. 
So, do you think it's only weaklings who died? The tiger died. Power Mike died. Abacha died. How did they? How did they? Magnus, you know I don't subscribe to coincidence. What coincidence? You remember what he said concerning why I, instead of you, should be the next thing God. Asa, if that comes in place. And so? You're asking me and so. And so what? He <laughs> said, the cat dropped there, and you're asking me and so? so what are you insinuating? <laughs> insinuating? Hmm? Magnus, my brother, tell yourself the truth. If a witch cries in the night and a child dies in the morning, what did they do? You are a fool. You call me a fool? That's what you are. And let me warn you. Don't dare me. You call me a fool? Don't dare me. <laughs> let me tell you one thing. You will only be the next king of Asa over a dead body. And get it into your little skull. And I'm not ready. I will not die as easily as Zedeka died. Ufi Bushi Lopi. Then you're welcome. Ufi Bushi Lopi. We shall see. Ufi Bushi Lopi. We shall see. We shall see. How stubborn a fish is. It becomes calm inside an old woman's pot of soup. Uh, you are right. Eh? You are right. Eh? Just do your bit, eh? and I'll do mine. And be rest assured that everything will work as planned. Hmm? Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Eh? Ijenganga. The legs that move sharply in the dark. I fully observe, but the eyes that move sharply. I have no eyesight. And you thought I wouldn't notice you? <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Witch that kisses the mouth of the head she wishes to be head. I don't understand, mother. I walked into you, Anunamde, with your door not even locked, and your father's corpse is not yet in dead. Mother, I don't know. And you come to me? Show me pictures of a man's infidelity. Honestly, Mama, I don't know what got into me. I don't care whatever you do with him. After all, he's still your husband. But I wouldn't want your emotion come breaking on me. We need Nandi now more than he needs us. accepted that. Don't push him. Don't push him too hard, okay? Please don't. Mother. Mm -hmm. Namdi has promised to go into the evil forest and get the offer for me. He did? 
Um, Your Majesty, just came to inform you that I want to take a stroll. Did you tell Adam Mother you'd be going to the evil forest on her behalf? Yes, I did. If that's the last thing I would do for the woman I've ever loved, I would do it a hundred times over. I'll go to the evil forest, bring back the offer, whatever it takes. Everything is ready, and congratulations once more, Your Highness. Thank you, Doc. So we can go now. Yeah, you can go now. Yes. Yes. Amaka. Thank you. Oh, wow. It's so much like you. <laughs> Johannes, let me drop you here. Okay, Chief. Um, no one should see us together for now. Chief is going to take very good care of you, man. Eh? I'll come let up see you. Love you. Love you too. See you later. Oh. You guessed? I told you I see with my mind. You're welcome. Ah. Ah. Hey, you're welcome. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I've seen the wonderful effort you're making to give your in-law our Igwe. 
a befitting burial. The king was everything to me. The best father I never had. I know. But things don't appear normal around here. How do you mean? The other day, I witnessed Chief Magnus and his Jenga. That it shouldn't be. You witnessed? With my mind, it didn't just fit. It didn't fit? Why would Chief Idika suddenly drop dead? Very nice here, but I want to go home. Shut up. Shut up. Did I tell you that you're staying here is for your safety and the safety of your son? You did, but... I said shut up! Let me tell you. This, your son, is your ticket to the royalty of our second family. Why do you think I want something to happen to your son? Nothing will happen to my son, Chief. In fact, I will take care of him with everything I've got. Part of everything you have got is staying here patiently until the appointed time. Appointed time? Yes. In man, they will be crowned king. And your son will be his heir. You are aware his wife has no son for him. Are you not? Mm -hmm. So when he is crowned king, you will be crowned along with him. Chief. Are you serious? I'm serious. <laughs> what do you think all this arrangement is all about? Oh my god. So I will become the queen of Asa. Oh my god. But Chief, why are you doing this for me? Look at the kind of question you're asking. Would you like to be a queen? Eh? Of course I want it very much. <laughs> it's just that I want to know why you chose me of all the girls in Asa. Uh, wait, let's just say that's a promise I made to your father at this dying bed. Your father used to be my friend. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. My baby. Ada, I saw determination in Namdi. It's quite noble of him to take the decision of going to the evil forest for you. But there's something. What, mother? He loves you. I recognize affection in a man's eyes when he speaks love. And such genuine affection I have never seen in any other man except in that of your father's. When he promised me that he will take no other woman besides me. So, what are you driving at? Anyways, regardless of all the generosity and the love that he claims to have for me, I will never, ever live with a man that has cheated on me. He knows all that and he still wants to go to the evil forest for your sake. I can as well do it for myself. That is why I'm scared. Because I know that they will never allow you to come back alive. Well, what choice do we have, Mother? And that we have the choice of keeping everything we know to ourselves. Let's keep it in our hearts. See, we have to make Namdi believe that we don't have anything against him. I know that these people will try to stop him. But we have to do everything possible for him to go. 
is for our own good. That Chagrin with the princess, I know everything about it. But it amazes me why a woman who should know you more than every other man living should mistrust you. It amazes me too. But I support your desire to go to the evil forest. I haven't told you that. Have I? No, you haven't. You need it. But I have my ears to the ground. What I have not heard in our sad kingdom, then the gods have not heard. Moja, who told you? Don't bother. I'm all by your side. I will even accompany you to the forest. Accompany me? Mm -hmm. No, you can't. You can't. The tradition forbids anybody from going with me.
you will remain inside this drum till this time tomorrow. Whoever tries as far as near as touching this drum drops dead. He said, If the gods don't want you, we'll find you dead by tomorrow morning. He said, Hello, sir, sir. I am a good guy, sir, man, to do. Callous of you. Very callous. Mm, we'll get him. We we'll always do. Not now he's away, you are after him. Mm. We set the covenant trap. Be fast about it. I'm going. Uh, wait. There's one other thing. What is it? Killing the princess before she finishes with the rituals may be extremely difficult. Why? Um, more has protective charms all around her. Your job is to find a way out. Adama. with you. I still do not know the source of power that protected her. I think it's the spirit of her dead father. You once told me that the dead still dumb. Hmm, of course. But we are talking of the spirit of yet to be buried king of Asa kingdom. Ijunganga, I want result. I want result. Abrakra, 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 Abrakra. When you get here, my money will be gone. My taro will be gone. My food will be gone. My name will be gone. My name will be gone. My name will be gone. Our princess. So said the gods on the second day of your kinship test. The gizzard inside this pot, the ancestral bird of Asa kingdom, is expected to pick the gizzard inside the pot. If this doesn't happen before nightfall, then the ancestral spirits, the chain to the gods of Asa kingdom, have rejected you.
Hey! Alo! Alo! Ndembe Nandege! Ogini! The ancestral spirit of our side kingdom. You should never allow an orphan to become the king of our side kingdom. And what a bloom bag. Who goes in Afro? <clears throat> Why can't I just sleep? There is fire on the mountain. The spirits you sent to kill my brother have been caught alive. How could you have seen them? How? Then, go home and rest. Your witches will be granted. What about the princess? Mm. Her fate is completely out of my hands. Why? I said go home and sleep. You are troubling the gods. Go home. The princess will start her last journey. So far, the gods have stood by her. Fellow elders, last night somebody wanted to take my life, mm. but on counter attack, 
he disappeared mysteriously. My worry has been, why are we not asking questions? Because the king is still unburied. That's why we are not asking questions. Immediately we finish the burial, we will attend to that. It must have been the same way Trifidika was killed. I have no eyes, but I can see very far. I have ears, and I make very good use of them. We may have, but then I missed a murderer. Yes. I am under the shadow of doubt to believe that you are blind, but see everything that happens in Asha Kingdom. It's simple. Why not go ahead and tell us who this murderer is? Oh. Tell us. Eh? Tell us, since you know everything. We are all here. This is a new trend. And if actually somebody is involved in the killing of Chivitika, it's an abomination in our family. Once we have buried our king, we will find out. We always have. But tonight, the princess will complete her task. At this till tomorrow morning. If we find you like this and alive, your sacrifice is complete. Nobody should ever come near this river. Let alone set eyes on you. It is between you and the goddess of the sea. All the seven villages of Fasa were covered by water until one fisherman came along. He decided to stay and beg the goddess of water to give him land. After seven days, the goddess of water made all the land that is Asa today. This stream still represents that mighty lake.
he must not escape tonight. Hey! She's now in the deepest trouble of her life. <laughs> so, Ufe Busi, Ere Okunike. That's good. That's good. <laughs> in a matter of minutes. to go home. Chief Priest of Asa, Ezemwa and the Priest, Princess Adama has concluded the mandatory seven-day ritual as directed by the gods. And so far, the gods are happy with her. We have four market weeks left for our king to be led to rest with his ancestors. I'm glad everybody knows it. We all know what is next. The princess will go to the Gable Forest. For our offer, for her husband, will be considered as king of the Yes, of course. If she doesn't come back in seven days, she will never come back. Yes. <laughs> you will live tonight. For her. Uh -huh. He cannot go. That is not possible. 
as a mo. You are the custodian of our tradition. Tell us, is that possible? You truly wish him to go for the phone? Yes. Very possible. He is her husband. The princess is right. If he decides to go for the pop, that's okay. Anybody can go for the pop. What we want is the pop in seven days' time. What a confused tradition. Why do you always like to be on the opposing side? Hey, be careful, Chief Goku. The reason one with the white clothes runs from oil is the same reason one with oil runs from white clothes. If you don't come back in seven days, the princess and the queen will be deemed outcasts, banished from this kingdom. <laughs> My father told me that whoever that will enter the evil forest in search of the four of a sad kingdom needs seven days to prepare. Part of that preparation is the seven days spiritual exercise the princess just went through. What about her husband going for the journey? We have 16 days to bury our king. Seven days for the king's in-law to prepare himself. Seven days to besiege the evil forest. For a man courageous enough to undertake a risk not really meant for him, I think he more than deserves seven days. Do you know that I have never been to a native doctor before for medicine? I know. Then how do I prepare? <laughs> Under this very tree, my father told me that the greatest medicine is none at all. None? As in none? Yes. What one does not know does not kill him. You see this Oja, given to me by my father, inherited from his own father, is the greatest instrument that is held by both the living and the dead, both spirits and human. Really? You are going to the evil forest. There are evil spirits there. I will use this Oja to call you. Wherever you are, we will hear it. And when I say, move right, move right. When I say, move left, move left. And when I say, move straight, I will move straight. You see, I can see in the dark, like the Ezemo. My father, was the greatest native doctor in Asa. Before he died, he bade me never to take after him. Why? As a Dibia, the temptation to do evil is much. But the evil deed of the Dibia returns to his generation manifold. Oh. Look at me. A blind nobody paying the price. But you can see with your mind. Oh yes. My children 
will inherit a clean bill and wipe my tears. Keep the content of the bag handy. There is a spiritual chalk inside. No evil spirit will harm you when you draw a circle with the chalk and stay inside the circle. But why are you... Namde, don't ask me that question. Namde, one good tone deserves another. That's the saying I love so much. Keep doing good, my friend. You will reap the reward of goodness. Inside the bag, there are eggs. And the eggs will be used for. Nothing will go wrong. What do you know? What do you know? My king, are you going out? Why did you ever cheat on me? Nothing. I'd rather not discuss it now that I'm about to embark on a journey to the evil forest. Do you really wish to sit on that throne as king? Are you asking if I would abandon the quest for the awful so that you and your mother will be punished afterwards? Again, I ask, do you really wish to sit on that throne as king. As a king that will cease to mean anything to you. As soon as you have a child, huh? I ask the questions here and you will supply me with all the answers that I need. Stop trying to turn the tables against me here. I am not the chief. I am. Then. You will say now or do. Namdi, your journey with destiny awaits. is the evil forest. Somewhere there lies the Ofo of Asa. You have seven days 
to find it and bring it home.
Listen, if he ever returns, this Assad kingdom will be too hot for the two of us. Hey, Jabra, he won't return. That's what he said in the case of the princess. Yet, the princess is still living. The princess is a different uh, kettle of a fish. Her father's roaming spirit was all around her. This one is on his own. You better be fast enough. Your wish is my command. Mm. Mm. My great men of Asa, the signs are not quite positive. The king's in-law may not return. If he doesn't, what do we do? Why ask? It is quite clear. What we do is to chase the princess and the queen out of uh, the palace and out, out of Asa. After that? We crown the new king and bury our king. And you think it is as easy as that? Uh -uh. What else is difficult there? Yeah? Okay. Who do we crown? Who else but the Chief Magnus? Hmm. Is Chief Magnus Okanamini not next in line of Asa Kingdom Surya Halaki? Exactly. Dungwaya. On the surface, yes. But we are old enough to know and not to be told. Know what? That traditionally, Chief Magnus is not the right person to be crowned. What are you talking about? Sit down, Mr. Puta. I say sit down. My people, Suruke the dance is a dance meant only for the spirits. Men who partake in, in the dance are only ignorant. I'm not blind. Neither are the gods I represent. I know that I know Chief Magnus' maneuvers, but it's only dancing around the antelope meat, which truly is not meant for him. Ezemo, <clears throat> what are you saying? Are you anyway trying to challenge our Ezemo? If he tries to mislead us. But Ezemo has never misled us before. I wonder. Yeah. Never. Huh? Thank you, Ibudu. We all know that the next in line in the kingdom of Asa is, is D.K. Okunamiri, not Magdus. It is his brother Oku instead. Mbano. Mbano. Anna. Uh, is there anyone here who wants to join them? No, not me. When I die, I would like to be buried honorably. The wind of falsehood has never blown pleasantries to a to tired men. But let us not shy away from the fact that we have a problem.
But what bothers me now is if he will come back with the offer or not. Yeah. It bothers me too. Mm. What if? What if he doesn't come back at all? If he doesn't, what, what, what do I do? What do we do? Come back. I'm not saying that. He will. Eh? Let's hope he would, okay? Okay. He will. longer are we going to be locked in here like prisoners? Prisoners? Oh yes, prisoners of fortune, of course. But Chief... Shh. Your king is right now in the evil forest to get the offer. Evil forest? Yes, the offer is a must for him to be crowned. The evil forest? See, don't worry. Because uh, right now, the best seven warriors and seven native doctors of our kingdom are with him. So in a matter of days, you are going to reap the fruit of your long labor. But Chief, will I actually become the queen of our kingdom? With this, you're so you are a queen already. Already. Yeah, he's okay, he's okay. Be happy, feel happy. Yeah, I can see the joy. <laughs> <laughs> you are the heir to the throne, not too long in the future. <laughs> into the evil forest? This is the symbol of my kingship. The offer of the kingship of the Asa Kingdom.
Hey, Zemma. This is great. Goodbye. Thank you. Hey. Thank you. If a witch cries in the night and the child dies in the morning, uh, which witch? Which child is a mom? Is your brother? Are you a stranger? I wonder. If you are a man, died last night, just a few hours after confirming his next king, if things didn't work out. Because our king did not bear it. <laughs> Nothing much will be said about the death of Oku. Just like that of Ndika. And the culprits he said, Kego Collins. The main obstacle is out of the way. Yes, one obstacle. But the main obstacle is in that evil forest. If he comes back with your phone, what happens? Mm. He won't come back. You better be sure of that. I will, but... But what? What becomes of me? As a is no fool. Besides, the gods talk to him. From the way he looked at me, he knows. Well, it's very simple. I'll make you the Ezemo once I am crowned. <laughs> that is all I need.
Agwaru to the governor, Namuro Dogu, Agwaru to the Camuro Dogu, Agwana Malibudo, Golia Pogwen and Dinoli, and Olivudo, the Copogwen and Chicken, Olivudo, and the Kudan on Avajak, Agwaru Akan, Elumbeja, Mandevundo, Makana, we name it, you had done a run on Dicket and Mavi de Lumbana Daluna. Imagine my lord of Wuna, talk of the early port of Wun. The Kanami can be changed, and I don't do my way, and I don't bear one belly. A one am I going to Melana to be a to the Tavisa to a mother and Uzo, the Kanaki and Mako Bodofunana, a Wadu to the Kemuro de Wuname, a Waduaka Nelue, a Bodon and Nana Kavamali, you were done a Hulun or Dogu, but we did the Kobodo. Papa, calamity, calamity staring at our kingdom in the face. Papa, hmm, I need power. Nam kebo, is that gum? Oh, we're in the bamba. We're in the mono. Nam deme, deme. Nuku,
He's alone in that evil forest. Let's just hope for the best, okay? They, they, they killed him! <laughs> they killed him with best! Listen to me. I know that our ancestors will protect him who seek to save their lineage. I know that for sure, okay? He'll be fine. I hope you're right. I hope you're right. I just hope so. Yes, I am, my dear. See, let me tell you. They sent a little child to us that very night that we were on our way to save you in that stream. Do you know what a little child told us? She said you were safe. I know that that little child will also save Namdi. Okay? He will be fine. But I am so scared. I am scared. Why does all tradition have to involve so much rigor? Why? Why? Honestly, your mother never bothered to ask. Oh, good. It's okay. <laughs> I wish Namdi would have broke it. This torturous tradition. So that whoever has sent the throne after him will not have to go through it all. That boy is a brave young man. Now I'm beginning to understand why your father insisted on him being the one that will sit on the throne. He's brave. He'll come back, okay? Okay? He'll be back. Yeah, he's okay. The water you asked for, Your Majesty. Uh, you are sure of purchasing fast. <clears throat> what are you doing there? Chief, I heard I call you His Majesty. Of course. Don't you know he will become the next king of Asa Kingdom? My son is going to become the king and me the queen. <laughs> hey, shut up. Now, go back to your Go back. Go back. Go. Are you 
learn how to keep your mouth shut. Don't give unsolicited information. My king. Get out. Get out. Welcome to the Women's Kingdom. And see, the princess has made a fantastic choice. Hmm. Mom, I can see the new prince is finally here. So it seems. I think I like him. Ma, behave yourself. Mom! Your sister is right. Stay away from our new king.
Sem mo. Waja. What is it? Stop there. Stop there. What is it? Catastrophe befalls men when they refuse to read the sign. Exactly. But what is it? Waja. There is danger. Asa is in danger. Uh-huh. What could be the danger? Ezemo, my oja. I lost my oja. Somebody came into my house and stole my oja. Ezemo. <laughs> uh, you have lost your oja. You may not see it. But you should have known that I have more important things doing here. Hi. Ezemo, you do not understand. Understand what? Eh? Huh? What do, you, what do you want me to understand? Is it because your Oja is lost? What is, what is important about the loss of Oja? Hey, is it, it is the Oja given to me by my father. Uh, given to him by his father. Uh -huh. I know everyone in our staff knows the history of your Oja. If you have lost it, you have lost it. No, is it more? with your spiritual eyes, you should know that if I don't see the Oja now and fast, Ndam, they will never have a kid home from the evil forest. Okay. Is there more? As our kingdom is in trouble, do something. This is our kingdom. So, why only women? Don't you like women? Of course I do. But seeing only women around makes it scary. You don't have to be scared. Yeah, seriously, you don't have to be. You're in seven hands. <laughs> All right, seven. So we don't get to you. It is Mwakuda, the little hunter, who really catches anything. I knew it. I knew it. Ah, I knew. Mwakuda.
Nandi. I have watched you very closely. The king of Asa bid us to A. Married off his daughter to you. But then, we made her barren. You made my wife barren? That's evil. Yes, because we wanted you. And when you chose to come to the evil forest to look for them for, we knew you've come home. Good. You have more love, yeah? Eat whatever thing you like till you're dead. You will never walk. All you need to do is sleep with everyone, day and night. We want to reproduce once again. This is now your home. And turn my main offspring to slaves? There is no sleep here. Just for things to take its proper shape and order. We are all here. Tomorrow, we bury the late king. And afterward, you will become a new king. Aquan will be the new king. Where is it? Oshi, where? Where? Good bush. Is that the bush? Good bush. You see, he has lost the key. Hey! 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 Our kingdom wasn't always like this. There were men as much as there are women now. A king and queen. As the name implies, the women were always in charge. The men cooked, cleaned, did the house chores, went to farms and served us, while all the women did was stay home looking ever beautiful. Just that. And prepare themselves to have babies for the men. Years ago, the men revolted. They realized that they were physically stronger than the women and started beating them at the slightest provocation. They started forcing the women to go to work, to do chores, to cook, to clean. And as if that's not enough, they even made them have babies. Men can have children. Exactly why the women should be accorded the freedom, the rest and the free will to be able to do that. Instead, whenever any woman conceives, they still expect her to keep walking, to keep going to the farm, to keep doing chores, to keep cooking and serving till the day she delivers. Look at me. Our women started dying. No strength to push babies so much work. I talked to the king. I tried to make him revert back to the old way. But instead, he beat me up. I'm sorry about that. So, I plotted a coup. They all believe we, the women, are the weaker sex. One night, we all went to bed with sharp knives and cut the truth of all the men in our kingdom while trying to make love to us. Deep, it's Carlos, my God. It's a woman's world. In the morning, we rounded up every other male, slaughtered them. You did? But now, our hearts have softened. 
but we have to infuse men back into the kingdom. To serve you as it were. Exactly. That is how it was meant to be. I think you realize that you can't do without the men. You can't make yourselves pregnant. And if you don't reproduce, you will die and your kingdom will go into extinction. Enough! From where you come from, you were called Namdi, the royal guy that found favor in the eyes of the king of Asa to give the only child in marriage. How did you... There is nothing that we don't know from here. Nothing. We would have gone for your twin brother. I don't have a brother. <laughs> I don't have a brother. <laughs> we would have gone for your twin brother, but he has no royal blood. You were brought up from age six to assume royal feathers. I'm not here to stay. I have a princess waiting for me. You will never go back to her again. Never. Where is my bag with my fort in it? <laughs> Powerful man who needed a set of twins for a certain ritual. When he heard about the birth of you and your brother, he sent his men to work. Your father took your mother and the twins and fled. In the process of fleeing, he made the men after you and your twin follow him instead of following your mom, and she made good of her escape. He drew them far into the forest. 
he hid your brother somewhere because he was very tired and drew them deeper into the forest. He died from the wounds inflicted on him by the five men and no one lives to tell the story. <laughs> Uh, what an interesting story. Your father was a warrior from every sense of that word. And you are like your father. Your twin brother was picked up by hunters from a neighboring village. Just like you, he survived. You know, since you people are good in telling stories, why not tell me another story? And when your father didn't return, your mother panicked. She kept on till she got to Asa. As it pleased the gods, that night she died. And like you, nobody heard the story of her journey. I don't have a twin brother, please. Oh, you know is that the guards from the king's palace saw you and your dying mother took you to the palace before she passed on. Yes, I heard about that. But all those tales about my having a twin brother are just what they are. Tales. You wouldn't have me here if you weren't great. We saw your star. We needed to quickly populate our kingdom. Starting with me. No, he must start with me. Says who? Says I. You... Enough! Wait. Go inside the bush and look at the flute. It is here. Somewhere there. My queen, where is the princess? Okay, okay. Um, my late brother, the king, advised that we walk together. <laughs> and you left me here all alone? Ah, well, how could I have left you alone? It was because you didn't require my wisdom. <laughs> Probably because you were only interested in becoming the next king. No. It was because of the possibility that Nande, you know, uh, uh, will not return, you know? Is that your wish? My wish? No. I... <laughs> you, see, you see, when one thinks of uh, success, one feels what they think of a failure. Yes. Mm. Nande will come back. I sense danger here. I sense danger here. But no matter how busy the ant is, the lion is always the king of the bush.
gone. He's gone? What do you mean he's gone? I don't know. Maoja can no longer locate him. I don't understand you. Whenever I blow Maoja, I see him clearly and he hears me. Then go and find him. Maoja. Then go. He must return. This kingdom cannot fall into the wicked hands of Chief Magnus. Princess. Mm -hmm. The most beautiful princess. The love of my life. Mm -hmm. No. The one that can't wait to discard you as soon as she has a new child. What do you know? Everything. Okay. But this is no time for stories. Come on. Everyone is waiting for me.
Who is that? You little shit. That's what the annuals. What are you doing here? Is this how it's going to end? Asa is finished. I am the angel of the Most High God. You asked for help. I am here to take you home. Thank you, Doctor. I must return to the palace. Mm -hmm. You're free to go now. Yes, ma'am. Hello, hello, hello. I'm going to go to the house. 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 What type of tunic are you? And why are you here? Repent of your evil ways. Come back here. Come back. Come back. The mother said that if he doesn't come back today, he will not come back again. Calm down. The day is not yet over. Mm. He will be back. Okay. Just calm down. Mm. Okay. Mm. What is it, my king? Everything has gone wrong. Everybody that matters to me is dead. And that useless Namde is back. But I'm going to make sure that there's no coronation at all. Finally, 
tomorrow is the day. You must come with him to the palace. During the coronation, I am going to give you instructions on what to do. Our ancestors, the gods of our side kingdom, have desired for you to be crowned. We do it now so that we'll be able to bury your father-in-law tomorrow morning. This is a lie, Mr. That is not true. We have a tradition in our son. The princess doesn't have a child. And my child from him. To conceive after seven years. It is a sign, my princess. That the God reject him as your husband. He cannot be crowned. On the contrary, my wife is pregnant. Yes. I'm three weeks pregnant. My husband. That can be true. Right. It is true. I am Dr. Ken. I tested her myself. She's pregnant. She is pregnant and is a boy. Now, it falls into place. The man who picked the offer with his hands from the evil forest rightly becomes the king of Asa Kingdom. Asa and Kibo of Asa Kingdom. My master, the great king of this kingdom chose me as the man for his only child. I will ever remain loyal to the man who was my father, my father-in-law. He told me that the journey to this throne will be a very tough one. He also told me that if I believe God, he will fight the battle for me by the grace of God. I am alive today to bear witness to this. Who are you, woman? Nandi, you're going to stand there and look into my eyes and ask me, Uloba, who I am. I don't know you. I've never set my eyes on you. Highness here came to the hospital 
even to pick them two weeks ago. <laughs> are you absolutely certain of what you are saying, doctor? As a mom, I'm very sure of what I'm saying. Um, then we can't crown him. Who are you? Jesus Christ. I am Oluchu from Ebenebe. This man met me last year at Mbili Festival and approached me. He paid me good money and brought me to Asakeno to impersonate the king to be. He brought me to Asa Kingdom and I observed the king to be. And I saw that we look alike in every way. I played along with because while I was dating with Mama, he brought picture, uh, photographers to take pictures. So I played along until Oloma delivered. It was when he tried to kill me but failed. That's when I said I asked him What are you talking about? Hey. What are you talking about? Why are you putting? Let me tell you. Why are you I'm going to be the king of a star kingdom and nobody can stop me. No. Nobody will stop no. me. No. Nobody will stop me. No. Nobody will stop me.
Yeah. 